Hey everyone and welcome back to our channel, your go-to place for clear and easy tech tutorials. In today's video, we are diving into DBT Cloud, the powerful data build tool that's transforming the way teams handle data transformations. Whether you're a data analyst, an engineer, or just starting with analytics engineering, DBT Cloud helps you write, test, and document your data models all using simple SQL. So let's begin. Now, the first thing that you need to do, visit the official website of DBT Labs. On the top corner, you have the option to log in using your credentials. Book a demo, but the best option is click the Try DBT Cloud Free. Now, all you have to do is sign up for a DBT Cloud. That's going to be um, free for 14 days, provide all the information needed. And then you should be able to receive a welcome email from DBT to verify your email address. And then it will forward you to a new page. All right. Now, from here, now it's a very important to follow the on screen instructions and be honest with the following because this will help the DBT cloud platform to provide the algorithm the best solution for your needs all right so when i use this click on complete all right so you can now create your project name now in the connection right here you, you can add on your connection it's very important to um, make sure that you have and access to the following snowflake post gray sql starburst teradata apache spark athena fabric and a lot more if you don't have an access to these you want to make sure that you ask that to your administrator to give you privileges or to your client otherwise you're not going to be able to move forward because these are prerequisites for the connection but don't worry, we go to the left side panel of our main platform so we can, of course, explore all these. Now, here, the dashboard is the main homepage of DBT Cloud. Okay, so it gives you a quick overview of your project status and activity. Now, you can see a list of recent runs with a success of failure status, visual summaries of model runs, durations, and errors helps track how different environments like dev or production are performing. If you have that all information, it will be auto-populated here. All right, so think of it as a real-time project health monitor. The develop section is where analysts and engineers write and test DBT code. You have two options here. You have the cloud IDE, wherein you can write models, tests, and macros right in your browser. So the good idea is that you can preview and run models, test your logic or SQL logic and see the output immediately. But again, it requires a connection. All right. You need to select the warehouse connection to use for this specific environment. Not only that, you can also configure the cloud CLI, which will connect you to your repository for version control. It's ideal for developing and debugging DBT models before publishing to production. Now, if you want to download the CLI configuration file, you can do that here. Click this button, and then you need to configure the cloud authentication. And again, make sure that the cloud project is created. Now, if you want to click the cloud account settings you will be forwarded here all right so these are going to be your credentials and the cloud cli all right now let's go to the next one which is going to be the deploy so the deploy is where analysts and engineers write and test dbt code in a safe interactive environment all right so it's ideal for developing and debugging dbt models and of course automate and manage scheduled jobs you have like run history right here of course you need to configure the connection first but you have the jobs we're in it defines what dbt commands to run for example dbt run dbt test and when 
of course and there's going to be the environments wherein you can run jobs in dev staging or production environments and of course the data sources gives you an option to automate production workflows and keep your models up to date now it's kind of useful if you want to configure notifications and get alerts on job failures or success like email slack and a lot more the last option is going to be the explorer okay so the explorer in some accounts gives you the section for the enterprise or enhanced dbt cloud setups and lets user you see interact with um dag or directed axelic graph which is going to be the visual representation of your dbt models and their relationships you see that right here of course you have the trace lineage you can see which models depends on others which is useful for understanding impact when making changes you have the search and filter models you can find specific model or macro and explore its metadata all right this is going to be useful for data lineage and model impact analysis so you have the uh, resources file tree and of course the last tab is going to be for the database right now our project has no default environment and again if you want to go to the environment settings right remember that we have uh, uh, only 30 days left in our trial and if you feel that the dbt cloud is going to be in the uh, platform that would give an answer to your business needs i want you to click on the plans in pricing the developer plan is free right and it's a subject for approval which gives you the 30 day free trial now the uh client trial is going to be a hundred dollars which is team you can select the plan pay as you go for pricing for emerging dbt cloud teams okay and the enterprise is custom you need to contact the uh sales staff before you can proceed with any of the following now go back to the billing and we're going to go to the main home page because as you can see that that's a wrap on our walkthrough in using dbt cloud if you're working with a data transformation and want cleaner version controlled and production ready pipelines dbt cloud is a game changer the intuitive ui is really helpful whether you're a solo data analyst or part of a larger data engineering team dbt cloud offers the right balance of power and simplicity if you found this video helpful go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more deep dives into powerful tools like this one if you have any questions about dbt cloud or maybe you're already using it and have tips to share drop a comment below we'd love to hear your thoughts thank you so much for watching and we will see you again in the next one